please tell us about and maybe about an impact player view from the point of a fuzzy <laughs> as you <laughs> mentioned it in the book oh tell my goodness story, um, i love that you asked about the fuzzies the fuzzy idea defined my career so i joined oracle troy said you know he worked there as well i joined back in the you know in 88, um, still fairly young, rapidly growing Maverick software company. I joined out of business school. Most of the people they're hiring are coming out of, um, you know, engineering programs, com computer science programs, and they're coming out of the top schools in the nation. And we start in this boot camp. And it's mostly, you know, uh, these folks that have come in with these engineering degrees and then a few people like myself from business school, a few people with liberal arts degrees. And we're put in this boot camp and, um, the night before the boot camp starts, it's like a social hour and, you know, it's mixed mingle. And then they decide that, okay, we need to, we're going to start working on this project as soon as we begin the boot camp. And the organizer of this boot camp, she announces, she goes, okay, we're going to like form teams. And she says, techies on this side of the room, fuzzies on that side. All the, the people with the CS and the engineering degrees, they go over to this techie side of the room. And I'm like, I don't think I'm a techie. I think I'm probably a fuzzy. But, you know, it didn't take a genius to figure out that a fuzzy was not necessarily a term of endearment. It was a sign of, it was like lesser talent. And like, okay, fuzzies over here. And I remember moving over to the fuzzy side of the room going, Okay, that's probably a description of my background, but I knew instantly what was important inside the company. And, and it was back to that moment where that VP said to me like, hey, Liz, I know you want to start a management boot camp, but we have a different problem. We've got to figure out how to get a bunch of, you know, people up to speed in Oracle technology. Like, why don't you help with that? And I knew they needed instructors and I wanted to teach but I was woefully underqualified to be teaching a bunch of hotshot programmers from MIT how to code. And, and so it seemed ridiculous, but they were like, why don't we need a technical trainer in boot camp?" And so I volunteered to do it because one, it needed to be done. And two, I could tell that this was a skill set that was valued. And I'm like, okay, so I'm going to learn how to do this. And actually it was, um, uh, one of my one of my colleagues, and she was one of those people who was over on the techie side of the room. She's like, Liz, we're going to teach you to think like a programmer. She's like, you're not thinking like a programmer. You know, you we're trying to build this app and you're like changing all these things. She goes, that's how a programmer thinks. You isolate variables, you, you know, test one thing, you, you know, fix the bug, you recompile your code, you test it, then you go to the next thing. I'm like, oh, it seems like a slow methodical process but it taught me a way to think. And um, for, so for me, this fuzzy thing was, was saying that figure out what's valuable inside the organization. And even if you don't have that skill set natively, like learn to think this way, learn to understand this. And, you know, I'm also on a mission to say like, you know what, skills and capability come in a lot of different forms and the best leaders don't Absolutely. divide a room into techies and fuzzies. They say everyone brings, everyone brings <laughs> an important capability. 